in Boston. Tonight, the Boston Celtics taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. Markel Fultz to Butler. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Tatum grabs the rebound. Here's Irving into the front court. He'll run the offense. Has a chance. Round shot. No good. Baskets good on the follow. Way to stay with it. He went down five minutes into his Celtics career. So how much of an evaluation period should Gordon Hayward get coming off a tough injury? Well, with a potential franchise player, you always rather be safe than be sorry. And he needs to pay attention to his body more so than anybody. From a player who personally had a dislocation of the ankle, which is a bone bruise when I was trying to come back and play, that could take a couple of years to heal fully. So Gordon Hayward's ability to make sure that he feels that he trusts his body is the most important thing. Butler. Nothing going here on that drive. To Redick. Here's a chance from long range. Shot off the mark. Good defense. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play. Oh, oh, hey. That one's in the 15th row. Huge denial. Hayward. From long range. Fultz there for the rebound. Simmons to Butler. Shot from in close, no good. Redick. Misfires. It's no good. Hayward to Irving for three. Cleared out by Embiid. Butler. They go down low to Simmons. Off the assist. I know this for a fact, Ed. Ben Simmons wanted to channel his inner Bill Russell during the NBA Awards as he stood up on that stage accepting that Rookie of the Year trophy, looking down at all the people that hated on him and didn't think that after a year of being injured that he can come back and be the one that everybody thought he could be. One of only seven players in NBA history to lead his team to 50-plus wins while accepting the Rookie of the Year trophy. Simmons to Fultz. Al Horford with a piece. That kid can block out the sun. Huh? Brown into the front court. Leads a bucket. Right time. Right player. Can't teach height. Both coaches hitting the reset button. Fresh legs coming onto the floor. Beyond the arc for three. That no good off the mark. McConnell to Fultz. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. I don't know if the scouting report has made its way out here yet, but if anything, it says you need to not let him get that close to the rim. Gets it in the left corner. Hayward to Horford. There it is, Al Horford, two for two. That's what you want. Old school equals high percentage. Muller into the front court. They trail by two. To Simmons. Al Horford, huge block. Second block in this quarter. Oh, he blocked that with authority. Rogier rocking the rim. Mm-hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> Simmons into the front court, trailing by four to Fultz. Curling inside, Fultz. Al Horford on tips it. That's his third block this evening. Ed, that's light work for a guy with his ability. 
Tatum buries the wide open three. That's too easy. I don't want to use the word streaky, but Jason Tatum tends to score in bunches. Let me tell you how. He's one of the most effective players in the league and most efficient at catching the ball on the move. A lot of players waste time in stationary positions or overindulging in triple threat jabs, but not Jason. He catches the ball directly and goes, which means he's the ideal of smart, decisive basketball. Joel Embiid missed his first. That one goes. Come on. You knew that setup was coming the whole game. Ah, but you were patient, and you waited until the right moment to use it. Trying to cash in. Jumper's good. I said this on draft night, that Jason Tatum was the most special player in the draft. Granted, I didn't know about Donovan Mitchell, but it's hard to believe that Philadelphia traded this pick away so the Celtics can have a future star. Simmons to McConnell. Oh, he had him there for a second. Simmons. Brown with it up top. His team up by seven. And counted at the rim. Well, they have such great flow to their offense this evening. The ball isn't sticking to one player individually. It's moving around the perimeter, and it's zipping. They're playing with a special cohesiveness. Changes coming from both sides right now. McConnell. Hey, box down. Oh, why not? It only has a chance if it goes up. You can finally see this team starting to get their rhythm and their groove offensively. This is a good run to get them back in the ballgame. Here, come left, 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 left. To Marcus Smart. Green, I got your help. Finishing inside the paint on that one. As my mother would say to the defender, A for effort, F for results. Sixers have the basketball. McConnell. Oh, he can't do that. That's just a blatant foul. Maybe he's trying to make a statement. Butler, that's off the side of the rim, short. Shot from the lane, won't go. Yo, big kudos to the defender. It seems like his mere presence in the paint was enough to make the offensive player miss the shot before he even got off the ground. Takes a shot at the buzzer, no good. Time's expired. First quarter in the books of this one. Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Kyrie across the timeline. The lead stands at nine. Here comes the screen. Short jumper off the mark. That's how you do it. You keep riding him to the basket, and if the refs aren't calling it, keep being physical. Keep knocking him off balance. Has a look. Redick with a shot, no good. It's easy. Force guys into low percentage shots. That's the reason why we're big into stats. It was all provided to you before the game in the scouting report. Right, 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 right. To Marcus Smart. Nothing going here on that drive. Let's it fly from long range. Marcus Smart forcing that one. Well defended. Terretic. 4-3. So the first points for him in this first half, and he knocks it down for three. Yeah, they really need him to get going. Really surprised that none of his teammates have been talking to him. This is when he needs him the most. They have to uplift him, help him continue to be confident on the court. Johnson sends it away to Marcus Smart. Fires the three. Joel Embiid. That 
Mark is smart. He's going to get three shots here. Shoots it at 75% for his career. Can't connect on the first free throw. Second one's no good. One more coming. He converts one of three at the line. McConnell. And a pass stolen by Boston. Come on, let's dig in. Let's really build this lead. To Irving. Going to launch beyond the arc. No good. That's great defense. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. To Hayward. Hayward, that's how it's done. He is shooting well. He's made two-thirds of his shots. No doubt about where that one was headed. Teretic. Fires the three. Can't go down. Smothering defense. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Lays it up and in. Ooh, cool, calm, and collective. The three C's. His handles are effortless. McConnell. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Like the confidence. Tough shot there for McConnell. So Horford. Deep left corner. Short jumper misses. McConnell, Teretic, off the assist. I get tired of hearing guys say, I was there, I contested a shot, I pretty much had a hand in his face. Well, no, you have to change up the game. If a guy is right-handed, he is right eye dominant. Get that hand over his right eye, block his vision, that'll enhance his chances of missing the shot. Hayward to Marcus Smart. Here's a chance from long range. Sixers able to clear the rebound. And they call the foul. Felt the breeze there, Jay. Timing was just a tad bit off. Time for some new personnel into the game. Butler. Buries it on the catch and shoot. We talk so much about who are the MVP candidates, but there are other guys who are so valuable to their teams, and Jimmy Butler at the forefront of that list. I have a phrase that I use when I describe players like Jimmy Butler. It's called most valuable mentality. There are certain players that approach the game with a certain mindset every single day, and they will do anything, anything possible to win the ball game. He plays with his heart and soul every single possession and every night, and he will leave it on the court if that means he can win the ball game. Simmons with it. Now down six to Butler. Simmons. by Butler, but his shot won't fall. Simmons. Butler. That's rebounded by Kyrie. From the painted area, won't go down. You practice leads to that nice pump fake. Now that the process has been established, it's going to be fun to see how much better Joel and B can be this season. Everybody heard about his arduous off-season workout program, but the thing I love about him the most, he always works on his game, even if he's dunking on random fans on vacation. Looks like both teams are making substitutions. To 
to Hayward. Gordon Hayward, that's how it's done. He's three of five, 60% shooting from the field. You know, I just want to thank the man above for allowing a guy like Gordon Hayward after that horrific, awful injury he had in opening night. So good to see my dude back on the floor and doing his thing finally healthy. Terrific. Rebound Horford. Rozier with it. Up six. And this will be out of bounds. Off of MB. Hayward to Rozier from long range. Off the mark. Cash is in for two. A drive baseline, but the shot won't go. That'll do it for the first half. The Celtics have the lead. through the first two quarters as we resume play here in the third. Celtics have it. Joel Embiid rejects it. Just incredible timing on that swap. Fultz into the front court. His guys trail now by four. Goes reverse to lay it in. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. To Hayward. Isolation. Give me Here the comes the screen. Ben Simmons able to recover with the block. Don't stare him down like that afterwards. Joel Embiid not getting the bounce. Horford. I got, I got Tatum I got knocks it down from mid-range. If you're coaching against this player, you have to throw some fake traps, some fake schemes. How are you making this player think instead of just naturally reacting? MB to Fultz for three, shooting on the uptick. Markel Fultz, wide open, finds a way to score. It just seems like everybody's getting more touches. I'm not saying who, but it seemed like the ball stopped in a certain player's hands, which forced the defense to become stagnant. Here comes the screen. Driving right to the basket, down the lane to lay it in. You know, Ed, so many times we see people flexing on social media in the offseason, but they rarely put in the work, the substance. Not Jalen Brown. This dude's been putting in the grind every single day in the gym. He's ready. Another chance. J.J. Redick snatching it out of the air. Fourth this contest. That's why a rim protector is a necessity in this game. Almost, and he's not getting the call. Butler to bring it up. His guy's down three. To Fultz. Oh, had him going there for a second. Markel Fultz to Simmons. Fakes, drives to the rim, and scores. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters, but when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. Two points. Philadelphia with the basketball. Fultz to Simmons. Curling inside. Al Horford with the block. Ooh, five now. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Muller into the front court. Down three. To Simmons. Just enough of a head fake to help on that one. 
<laughs> the okie doke. Let's see if he'll try that one again. To Jalen Brown. Nothing going here on that drive. Has a chance. Tatum shot misses. The follow won't go either. Jason Tatum sends it away. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. It's good. And when he gets going, he is automatic from that position on the floor. And they'll take that any day of the week. Here's Simmons with it up top. They're down three. To Redick. Beyond the arc for three. That's off the side of the rim, no good. To Fultz. Oh, he had him there for a second. To Butler. Simmons. Butler. And drills it. Jay, spacing can be a beautiful thing. Well, the defense has been good, but the shot-making ability has been better. And sometimes for NBA players at this level, the more you're in their face, the more it helps them center their focus on the target, which is making a shot. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's a real thing. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. Entering the game for Boston, number 11, Kyrie Irving. Three right, three right, three right. He takes it right at them and scores. You have to fill in there. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. You need to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. Butler to McConnell. Let's it fly from long range, off the mark. No good. Brown into the front court. Leads a bucket. Irving and drains it. Jay, you've known Kyrie Irving since he was a young man growing up in New Jersey. He's overcome a lot of obstacles, chief among them staying healthy and on the floor. Yeah, Ed, he's been battling injuries since his freshman year of college. But the beautiful thing about Kyrie Irving is that he always loves the big stage. Making the game-winning shot in Game 7, he will continue to do so when he surrounds himself with great, inspiring leaders with the likes of such Kobe Bryant. And hits the first free throw. Goes two for two. Watch out, bro. Into the front court, it's Irving. His guys can get a two for one if they time this out. And scores. Everybody in the building, including myself, thought that pass was going somewhere else. Fool me once? Okay. But you're definitely not fooling me twice. To Butler. Oh, I had him going there for a second. Al Horford swats it. Incredible. Six tonight. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. Kyrie Irving pins it. Here's one of the biggest secrets as we move into this new age of basketball, especially in the draft room. You have to draft players with sides and length. That's the biggest deterrent for any team offensively. It's been a compelling game so far. The fourth quarter is underway. Holtz with the basketball. The deficit now up to five. To McConnell. Faults. And the rebound taken by Brown to Marcus Morris. 
And it's Chandler with the rebound. To McConnell. Oh, nice find for the basket. And the last 10 sequences down the court, everybody's touched the ball. You don't see anybody with any kind of negative expressions on their face because everybody's eaten. Irving to Marcus Morris. He shoots. Oh, awesome. Got a piece of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Couldn't keep it in. Out of bounds off TJ McConnell. Both teams tweaking their lineups. Here come some changes. Boston with the basketball. Irving to Marcus Smart. Probing the defense. To Irving. Count the basket. He's feeling good. Defense has to get him out of his comfort zone. Look at that. Calm under pressure. You see a lot of guys watch those. Nice extra move there. Simmons to the basket, but his shot stays out. To Marcus Smart. Short jumper off the mark. Simmons with it. Down five. Runner here. Won't go. Irving into the front court. He'll run the offense. To Marcus Smart. to Irving and this will be out of bounds off of Butler substitution being made in this one Tatum knocks it down that was a tough shot it's easy to get lost in the chaos of the game down the stretch but great awareness by the shooter to get those toes right behind the three point line To Hayward. The drive right to the basket. He was hacked. They let it go. Simmons to Redick. 4 3. It's Tatum with the rebound. To Marcus Smart. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. You used to hear all these coaches talk about, we need players to run the floor. No, I don't need you to run the floor. I need you to run the floor with purpose. Those are two different things. When you run the floor in attack mode, that's when plays like this occur. Simmons to Redick. Fires the three. Not that time. To Marcus Smart. Going to launch beyond the arc. And he still can't find his range from deep. It's no good. The follow won't go either to Horford. Try to cash in. Yes. When this guy's open, look out. Nearly automatic. Well, we got a chance to firsthand watch something be created. I think we just watched an epidemic of passing. I've never seen something like this before. It was so contagious, everybody started to do it, and it ultimately led to the other team's demise. If that's an epidemic, sign me up. Deep left corner. Irving buries it on the catch and shoot. Simply put, when the ball's in Kyrie Irving's hands, magic could happen. It's poetry in motion, and it's a situation in which the ball is attached to his body. He has it on a yo-yo. He can put the ball and dangle the ball out there for other people to think they have a chance, and in their mind they do, but in Kyrie's mind, the game is over. Oh, he had it. 
Ed, the game is so different. In today's NBA, defenders are longer, quicker, and more athletic than we've ever seen before. So offensively, as a shooter, you either have to be able to create more space off the dribble for your shot or have a much faster release. Ideally, you have both in your arsenal. Now a whistle and a timeout for Philadelphia as they'll talk things over here in this fourth quarter. Both coaches dipping into their reserves. Changes coming onto the floor. Redick to Simmons. Entering the game for Philadelphia. Butler. It's rebounded by the Celtics. Hayward. He engulfed him that time. In the front court comes Simmons. The deficit now up to a dozen. Baseline drive. Off the penetration, almost, but no good. To Hayward. Stuffs it down with authority. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's prob city. Gets it in the left corner. Faults. Uh -huh. Knocks it down from three. Consistency wins a game. Sometimes you have to double down. I'm sure that's what their coach told them to do in the locker room. Keep shooting your shot. Now a steal by Philly. Tonight, it may not cost you, but in a playoff game, it will. Markel Faults to Redick. Marcus Morris with a piece. You know, sometimes basketball can become a very beautiful thing to watch. During the regular season, things can get difficult. Energy can be low. The passion at times can even be lower because players are tired. They're fatigued. But today, it's all been good. They're putting in an absolute show with killer efficiency and tremendous effort and intensity. Irving with the basketball. Mm, he sent that one to the third row. He was locked in. That was impressive. Hayward. Y'all gonna play running, running. Oh, whistle. Ah, uh, his timing was a tad bit off. That's his first personal foul. Team foul number one. That's the first foul in the last two minutes. Missed a wide open look. I got him, I got him. Embiid. Hayward the rebound. The game is won in the details. The team who has the most attention to the mic. Oh! Out there looking like the Kimbe Matumbo. Took it right to him, and the defender was ready. Kyrie Irving has got two shots coming. A career 87% from the line. First free throw is good. Two for two on that trip. A uh, pass taken away by the Celtics. You go back to the principles, things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade. It's called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively. You try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you will be able to stop a great pass.